when it was my senior year uh, at university and I was thinking about what I wanted to do after graduation, um, I learned about this uh, teaching program called Teach for China, uh, which puts you in, uh, in, rural, in rural China in a village to teach for two years. Uh, and that really struck me as something that was uh, kind of exactly what I wanted to do. So my name is Sam Waldo, I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mantra, China's first buy one, donate one eyewear brand. So we were always on the lookout for, you know, how can we make, how can we help? How can we do more beyond just being teachers and just in the classroom? Early in the first semester, we started to notice that a lot of our students were squinting in class or they were unable to copy notes from the blackboard. You would look at their notebooks and the information that they had copied down was written in this kind of weird chicken scratch. You know, the notes are written on the blackboard and they know that they're supposed to be copying them down, but they can't see. They're just like moving their pen across the notebook. It didn't take us long to figure out that a lot of our students had very serious vision issues. Probably the most important headline statistic is that uh, 30 million students in rural China lack access to um, vision correction that need it. And we saw the opportunity to provide a contribution to our students outside of the classroom, something that will allow us to make a positive impact on their uh, academic careers. We got this idea to do a free glasses project for the kids in our schools. It took us about a year to uh, get all of the logistics together. We uh, raised some money from uh, a couple of donors, uh, from some friends and family. We did a, like a GoFundMe campaign uh, in the US, uh, raised like a few thousand dollars. We spoke with our principals to make sure that they were on board with this idea. Uh, we found a local doctor, uh, a local optician in the nearby town who would agree to drive out to, to these schools. We weren't thinking about doing it like long term or, or necessarily continuing. We just knew that before we left, we wanted to make sure that our students, you know, had had glasses. The number of potential, you know, uh, scientists and teachers and just contributors to society that are losing their access to uh, proper education and, and really being kept in a cycle of poverty and, and all of this because of something so simple. Almost all of the world's glasses are made in China. It's not a cost barrier, it's not a technological barrier. It's inexpensive, it's accessible, uh, and it has a long-term, lasting, meaningful impact on self-esteem, on ability to participate in class, on just direct learning. So the story of how we got started at Mantra obviously begins with, with uh, our work at Education Insight. It was 2014, Education Insight was just starting to pick up steam, and so that was when we, we started playing around with some different ideas, and we realized that there was potentially a really strong opportunity in doing a social brand, a socially focused brand in China. That's what ultimately became Mantra. So the idea, we were looking at for us, mantra is a symbol. That's why we put we put this plus one logo on every pair because that's like this little reminder that you carry with you. The plus one represents the donation that uh, that is made on your behalf when you buy this. To make this kind of contribution um, is something that I think is really rare and really worth doing. So that's kind of kept us. That's kind of like the gravitational force that's kept us in this particular you know sector and on this project for for so many years. I don't know if I'll live in China forever, but I think. If I go away, I'll come back. I think I'll definitely stay, stay involved in China for the rest of my career.